This is North Dakota Today. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you for joining us right here on North Dakota Today. My name is Ashlyn Hill. I'm Sophia Richards. And I'm Jillian Trudeau. T-G-I-F, We made everybody. it. First of all, it is our general manager's birthday today. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to Ike. We appreciate you. And uh, we really love the donuts in the break room. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. Yes, I had one with pink frosting, and now I don't know if it's my lip gloss or the frosting <laughs> on my lips. It was so good, though. <laughs> Either way, we are in a celebratory mood, also because it's Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. The 5th of May marks a day to celebrate Mexican culture, but not to be confused with Mexico's Independence Day, which is September 16th. So we'll have to look forward to that and celebrate then as well. So Cinco de Mayo marks the anniversary of the 1862 victory by Mexican troops over invading French forces at the Battle of Puebla. But right here in the United States, this date is largely seen as a celebration of Mexican-American culture stretching back to the 1800s. Now typical festivities, as we all know full mm -hmm. and well, mm -hmm. margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It's, all, it's always Mexican food, right? We always want to get right into the great food, the great drinks, but more than that, it's the vibe, it's the cultural ap appreciation. So that includes street food, block parties, mariachi competitions, and whirling dancers wearing ribbons and braids and bright ruffled dresses. How fun. Mm -hmm. Mariachi competitions? Yeah. Never heard of that before. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you been to one? Uh, sort of. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that sounded <laughs> ominous, didn't it? No, uh, back in Michigan, we would cover a lot of Cinco de Mayo uh, festivities. Oh. oh, fun. And in Saginaw, in my market, we had a Mexican heritage uh, culture group who would okay. always put on a parade and yeah. a big, big event. So it wasn't necessarily like this competition where they were out to get number one, mm -hmm. but it would be multiple groups of mariachi performing at the events, and then okay. they would have uh, this all this big food, all this big thing. It was mm -hmm. always a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah fun. absolutely. I mean, uh, Deo, Dia de los Mer Muertos. Yep. Yep. I covered that um, morning reporting mm -hmm. uh, way back when. The day of the and day. yeah, Broadway Square always did something really cool with that. Mm -hmm. And it was really fun to see what the community would do yeah. for kind of the Mexican culture. It's great. We love it. Also, there's always restaurants that have uh, deals for Cinco de Mayo. So. Right, yeah. Our Americanized version of celebrating yeah. is <laughs> right. margaritas and tacos. You know. <laughs> Either way, have a great day and stay safe. In other news, everybody, the world now watching as King Charles III's coronation approaches tomorrow. Charles ascended the throne when his mother, Queen Elizabeth II, died last year. We had special coverage of that right here on Valley News Live. The May 6th coronation expected to last around 90 minutes tomorrow. That's when Charles will sign an oath pledging to serve the people and will be crowned. And listen to this. He has a special crown. It's the St. Edward's crown. And this marks the only time that the king will ever wear that specific crown in the coronation. Just so everyone knows my script, my teleprompter is on this camera, so I promise I'm not trying to avoid you. I'm not looking <laughs> at my close-up. It's always, it's always a struggle with the three of us over here. Um, coverage begins tomorrow, our mm -hmm. time though, Central at 4.30. We'll have it right here on Valley News Live as well as online. So if you want to wake up early and join in on the festivities, it's going to run for about five hours, you guys. <laughs> so this is going to be a big morning and a big wake-up yeah. call if you're interested in uh, participating in the festivities right from your home, right from couch. Absolutely. Right from it's a, a big, really, a bi <laughs> really big deal. Wow, oh my gosh, it's Friday. I'm checking out already. <laughs> uh, <so laughs> it was a half a week. She just got back from Mexico. <laughs> I know. You, it's a hard transition, okay? It would be. It is. Um, we forgive you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm begging. Um, but yeah, there was supposed to be a little video that was going to play during that script. That's why um, Ashlyn was a little bit not looking at you guys. But um, <laughs> that was on me. Um, but during the video, people are camping out already. Right. Like oh, they're, wow. Yeah, they're really getting into it. And um, it looks like a really fun like way, just celebration kind oh, of Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And major networks are already there, already previewing, mm -hmm. already set up. You know, you can't even imagine the amount of security oh, I bet. that has to yeah. go into something like this. Yes. The guest list, the most VIP of the earth. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, so that'll be a fun broadcast, honestly. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, if you're gonna wake up early and tune into something. <laughs> you gotta to record be, it. Yeah, culturally, <laughs> this is the way to do it. Okay, now this one's just funny and mm. crazy and weird all at the same time, take a look at this. Residents of a New Jersey town were left confused last week after hundreds of pounds of cooked pasta mysteriously appeared along a creek bed in a wooded area. A community leader there saw it, made a Facebook post saying that there had to be more than 500 pounds of spaghetti pasta 
by this stream. So this is in Old Bridge, New Jersey. Uh, also, there was some macaroni thrown about in there too. <laughs> it's also curious because it was cooked pasta. Yeah. Um, but we found out that the area's public works ended up clearing it away from that area. But of course, this went viral online. A lot of people talking. The photo you're taking a look at on your screen right now are the comments. This was one I just grabbed while I was reading. Uh, one saying, that's the most New Jersey story I've seen in a long time. <laughs> the middle one saying, this occurs naturally every spring. You wait a few hours for the sauce, but sure, it's worth it. <laughs> Just and then the one on the bottom uh, was my favorite. It says the prime suspect is al dente. <laughs> but I think they meant to say it more like al dente. Yeah. Like but it, when you name. pronounce it, it's yeah. al dente, like yeah. not fully cooked pasta. For those no, that's a good one. Know. I think that was one of my favorites. Yeah, there was another one that said it must have been Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> Or this one, we no, had a couple more good. in here yeah. too. Uh, we should send the perpetrators to the state penitentiary. <laughs> And it's just incredible the online community that forms yeah. when there's weird news or weird headlines of mm -hmm. whatever's happening, like pasta in a creek bed. Yeah, like what even happens there? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we don't know. The question we'll never know the answer to. Oh, Woodland fairies. I saw a lot of Sopranos references too. Really? Uh huh. Okay. I never fully watched that series, but clearly mm -hmm. it's you know New Jersey, New York mafia. So okay. I guess there was a known yeah. of somewhere who said Elbow something macaroni. about pasta. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> For those familiar we'll with the it. series, you'll understand yeah. what we're saying here. Uh, but yeah, definitely a big talker, so you've probably came across that on your news feed somewhere. Um, and the mystery remains. <laughs> Who did it? We'll dive deep. Pastagate 2023. <laughs> Pastagate. Well, we have plenty coming up right here on today's show. Up next, we'll be looking at portraits by Bethany right here in studio, and we'll be talking about a really brilliant event coming mm -hmm. up. You won't want to miss the details for that. Up first, our local steals and deals.